All right, so here with the Red Express, uh, as they're known, um, uh, having won the the heat of the uh, men's double, uh, how'd you guys feel about the uh, about the race? How do you feel you executed? Um, everything go according to plan? Um, yeah, we always wanted to go out and take that kind of qualifying spot for the semis, and uh, uh, we knew Estonia were they're always quick on the start, and uh, we've got to respect those guys, um, and uh, we felt it was a good kind of um, start to get out and just flat out the cobwebs and just get out there and enjoy the racing. Right. Um, anything you guys are going to look to change for the the semi or um, everything? Ho hopefully it won't be as bouncy. Right. <laughs> it was really bouncy for our for our race. Um, yeah, a lot of people have been saying that. Yeah. yeah. So. No. So really, I mean, it's a really fantastic course. It's just a shame it has to be a little bit bouncy. I think right. some of the officials going up and down in the launches aren't making it particularly easy. But right. things you just got to deal with. Yeah. Is it, uh, is, is it comparable to Lucerne in that way, or is it...? Pro probably, yeah. I think, yeah. I mean, Lucerne's obviously a, a smaller lake. Uh -huh. But, uh, yeah, I think it's just the volume of people on here. I mean, there's a lot of people trying to qualify for the Olympics. It's yeah. a big, important yeah. world championship. So, Certainly, yeah. yeah it, I mean, this will be the biggest one ever. The whole, the whole Olympiad, so yeah, that's probably why. Uh, well, well, um, good luck in the semi, and uh, look forward to seeing seeing how you guys perform. And and thanks for catching up with us. Thanks so much. Right. Cheers. Right. Cheers. Cheers.